Hello drafters, I wanted to show you something today because it came out that the Eufy Make Studio software for PC and Mac has just been released. And if you're unaware of what that is, well, this is the software that the upcoming Eufy Make E1 UV printer is going to be using. There was an online web-based version of this software already in beta, but now they are releasing the full desktop versions that we can now try out. So I figured I'll uh, download it, install it, and we can have a little look around, see what it entails, and get ready for the upcoming release of the printer, which currently, as it stands, the printer accessories are starting to arrive to US backers. The printers should be arriving to the US backers in the next week or two. This is basically start of September as a recording. For other regions like UK, Canada, Australia, which is where I am, we can expect to see shipments leaving China throughout September. So it could be beginning of September all the way up to the end of September and should be going out by boat to those countries and regions. And then typically sea freight can take four to six weeks in some cases with customs and duties, etc. It's looking like a lot of those outside regions of the US, we're probably not going to see our printers until potentially November, maybe even December if it's really pushing it. But let's all hope it is a little earlier than that, but we just have to wait at this point. And so I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can go download it for yourself. Set up an account so you can log in. I really recommend that. And then we can go through a little tour of it. So as you can see on screen, the link will take you to this page and we can download it for Windows or we can download it for Mac. So I've downloaded the Windows version, just it's a typical Windows application. You just download it, go through the installation prompts, hit OK, Next, etc. And it'll install in a few minutes. And once it's installed and you start the application, you'll be greeted with this screen. So once you log into your account, you can go up here and there should be a login button. I've already logged in. Also to note that when you first install the software and you open it up for the first time, it'll probably ask you to install a network plugin. So you'll say yes to that and it should install without any issues and then say it's installed. The network plugin is just to allow the software to talk to the cloud servers and work with the printer throughout the network, I believe. If you've used Bamboo Studio software before, uh, it's similar to that. They have a little network plugin that you need to install for the software to operate correctly. So just make sure that's working as well. Shouldn't have a problem, I didn't in my case. Then you'll want to either log into your account or create an account. And this way you can have access to all your projects and assets and so forth. Looking at the homepage, you can just see some basic banners and sort of quick access links to different projects. So you can have a look at some featured projects. If you've used any sort of online 3D printing repository, it's gonna look very similar to that. Links to projects that you can then go and download and print out for yourself, or you can go through and customize and create your own and submit them for the public to use as well. It's organized into different sections. So there's gonna be special occasions that you can jump into and you know, Halloween's coming up pretty soon. So there'll be a Halloween section I'm sure. And you can go in there and just get quick access to all those sort of goodies to print out. Otherwise, let's take a look around the program itself. So up the top, you'll have your homepage, which is this one. You have your devices. So if we click on that, currently I don't have the printer with me, so I can't connect it. So I imagine this is where it's just going to show you links to your printers. I'm assuming you probably have multiple printers and potentially use this as a bit of a farm setup. Otherwise, until I get that printer and you use your app on your phone to actually connect the printer to the Wi-Fi and then have access through the app on your desktop as well. So currently this is empty for me. If you click on this, it creates a canvas tab. So canvas is where you can create your own projects, I suppose, and it has a bunch of pre-made assets that you can use and help speed up your creations. Once you give it a moment to load, you'll have a bunch of tools that you can use. 
We can see that there is no printer connected currently, but it does still allow me to select between the different flatbeds. So you have your mini, your standard, also your rotary and your roll to film. Uh, you can take a snapshot, which is currently grayed out because there's no printer connected. And then there's some additional settings down here. We also have a download button as well. So I can imagine you could probably create a project and then download it and store that and then maybe take it to another computer or send it to someone by email. So I'm sure it's basically an export function. On the left side, you're gonna find all your tools. So if you click on this, you can expand it out. You can go through all different categories and these are basically all your templates, so stuff that's already been set up, and then you can go in and just change different wording or images. You can upload files that you need to, and it should store. You do have some cloud storage, so if you're uploading photos, they should come here, and then if you can move to another computer, you should still have access to those photos as long as you don't run out of space. You have some image AI tools. And so here there are currently a few different options for converting an image in some way to something else. So you can do a style shift, you can do a face swap. So you can take a face from an image of yourself and put it onto another photo and then print that out. You can also create just an image generator. So you can go in here. It's pretty cool. It actually has different categories. So you can set it up for a magnet and create images for a magnet. So these ones are more like inspirations and you can kind of use the prompts to then use that as inspiration to create your own or you can create your own with your own custom prompt you can set styles for it there's aspect ratios as well and down here you'll see your credit balance so some features especially with the ai tools will require credits under a free account, you do get a certain amount of credits per month, and then you can also pay for a subscription, which will give you more credits to use. So you should be able to get away with general use with a free account. Otherwise, for more power users or business users, you're probably going to need to step up to those other subscription plans, which I'll show you the pricing for in a moment. Also, when you create an image, you can go back and check your image generation history. So I tried to do a Father's Day Cup because it's Father's Day this weekend in Australia. So I can find my existing generations here, which is good. You spend the credits, but you technically get to keep the creation as well. There's some more tools here for textures. So you can do relief texture and pattern textures. We already had a look at templates. You have elements. So this will kind of be, I'm guessing like Canva, where you can just pull different elements and move them onto your canvas. Let's take this patch here and we just drag and drop it. And then we can enlarge that, move it around, etc. You can't edit this, I don't believe. But even with some of these images, you have some further tools up the top as well. So you can crop it, erase parts of it, change the opacity of it. Uh, you can upscale it. And these don't seem to use credits as well. So for example, if I take something like, okay, let's put this eight in here. We're gonna use this background remover. And you can see it has removed the background from our number eight. But if I go back into my image AI or where was it? Where can I see my, ah, okay. So it does have my credits set. I've still got 195 credits. So I, not everything requires credits. Then you have your text. So you can quick access text and banners and all sorts of kind of cool stuff. Something else up here is you can actually drop down and when you start the program for the first time, it'll ask you which studio to use because Anchormank or Eufy have 3D printers as well. I don't believe they make them anymore. Maybe they come out with some more in the future, who knows? But currently you can still use the 3D printer slicer software by switching between them in the one app. So you can click on this, it'll go into the 3D printing slicing mode, and then you can do your slicing, etc. from there. Otherwise, we're just interested in the UV studio, so we can switch back to that. So finally, on the homepage, we have a few different sections here. So we have projects. So projects you can go into, and these are things that people have created and uploaded them. And you can usually customize them in some way to make it your own. So what I mean by that, if we have a look at this uh, customized baby card game, so we click on that and it's just going to go into this project. It'll have some thumbnails of what it looks like and it'll have some details of what machine it's using, the print mode, the material, 
and the size. And then there's also going to be some instructions that the designers put in here that might relate to this particular project. And also you can leave some comments on here as well. You can then follow this designer to see more of their designs. You can also customize this design. So if we go to customize this design, it will take us into our canvas mode and load the project into the system. And there we go. So what you can do from here is you can start editing things to suit your own project. So we can click on this and change the name. We can change different elements. We can go through all these things and change them up. We can drop a photo in as well and put someone else's face in here. And then you can go ahead and set different uh, settings for how it's going to print. So it's either going to be flat or flat raised pattern texture and so forth. You can select your ink mode, which is probably already set up for what you should use for, but it depends what you're printing on, etc. what material you're going to be doing this on. You can then preview it, which will give you a bit of a 3d render of what it's going to look like because I did a simple flat image. There's nothing to really look at here, but if I was to change this to it's interesting that it's now that I've gone to preview, I've actually lost those settings to change the relief mode, which is unfortunate, probably just a bit of a, a bug in the software, but you get the idea anyway. Uh, you can then save this as well and give it a name if you want to, which was over here. So we can edit this and you know give it our own name. So my card, and then we can go back to the home page we should be able to see our own project somewhere. Okay, so if we go and click on our profile image, we go to my creations and we can see we have the ones that we've made as well, which was my card. And then you can click on that, duplicate it, rename it, edit it, etc. If we were to make something and then, you know, want to submit this to the public, you could then publish this design and it will go into the make it real system for other people to modify and do their own version of. Now, the second last thing I want to show you is the Creative Lab. If you go here, this is where a lot of the AI tools kind of are. So you can go in here, you can create relief pet magnets. You can create relief portrait magnets. There is a lot of relief magnets apparently, but there's also other cool ones like texture posters, photo to brush stroke, which you would have possibly seen in a lot of the promotional material is taking an image and turning it into this painting that actually looks like real brush strokes with the 3D depth to it. There's a tool for creating a light painting as well. So you can put it in a light box and it comes through and looks like this. So I imagine these are kind of like pre projects that you can go into. It's set up for that particular tool, which is a light painting setup. And you just drop in the photo you want and change the settings you want and then put it in a light box. You also see some of the image AI tools that we saw over in the other panel, which is down here as well. So the image generator, the face swap, the style shift. And I'm sure there's going to be more coming in the future as these tools develop and progress. So the last thing I want to show you is the subscription. As I was saying earlier, you can just use a free account, which is going to cost you nothing. And you get all this, you get 200 AI credits a month. It looks like most things cost about five credits per use. You can create up to a hundred cloud projects, unlimited local projects, one gigabyte of storage for uploading assets, etc. And you get access to all the customizable projects and full commercial use of all content. Otherwise you can step up to $15 a month. I believe that is USD. It doesn't actually tell you what currency this is. I'm assuming it's American dollars and this will just give you a little bit more, uh, 500 cloud projects and 600 AI credits monthly. You also get a discount on printing materials and the Eufy Make Care plan. And then you have a pro plan, which just further bumps those numbers up as well, which is $30 a month. I believe that part of the Kickstarter campaign that all the backers do get one year of plus subscription. And I think the process is that once the printer goes out, you'll get a code in the email or something and you can activate that uh, subscription plan. But I can't remember the exact details, but I do remember seeing something about having a year of access of the plus, I believe. So keep an eye out for that. I recommend don't actually enable it until you receive your printer because you don't know when that is actually going to be at this point. Everyone's waiting. So wait until you get your printer and then 
maybe use it on the free for a bit and get used to it and then hopefully use the sign up for the plus with your free voucher. Anyway, that's just a bit of an overview of the Make It Real software or what's known as the Eufy Make Studio software for PC and Mac. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more to learn. I do plan to put tutorials out on how to use this software and how to use the printer to create some really cool, interesting projects and also combining that with some of the other tools I have around the workshop like 3D printing and laser cutting. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're notified for those releases when they become available. So that brings us to the end and thanks for watching.